a stock engine, cheap ass CVT, custom made gearbox. The gearbox and the sprocket combo is about a 9 to 1. CVTs give you like a 3 to 1. So even with that big ass 18 inch rim and tire, it's fine. It goes about 30 miles an hour. This muffler is not for performance, just what I had laying around and I needed something. I'm able to adjust for belt wear by sliding the engine and I need the muffler to stay with the engine. So it's, uh, it's attached there and then the base plate. Base plate. There's the square tube down there and then the plate some angle iron and then it's just clamped on so I can just loosen it move it, it it's, it's pretty simple the rest of it's basically stuck so uh, fix your piece on there mark hmm trying to fix your piece on there that you got no I'm just recording it and going over it for YouTube oh. shit because I just haven't done that since I made the damn thing yeah yeah cheap ass garbage seat sheet metal on there to fill the hole and then tape some foam to it. Part was missing, cobbled together. Old ass tire. Some shitty dry lot. You can see what I was talking about before, it's gotten a little worse. Oh yeah, uh, it's glitting on you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have to find you a tire. Yeah, with money I don't have right now, too. If I happen to be out and I see see some bikes sitting somewhere, I'll let you know about it. <laughs> Odds are low. You but... always do, yeah. especially when I uh, when I go out to Barberton or something. Yeah. You'll find bikes sitting in yards, and people don't be doing anything with them. You can find a bunch of them around here too. You just have to know where to look. Right. Oh, where's the link I welded? Of course, it's right there. what I did for resizing the chain. I tried punching the pin out the proper way that didn't work so I just cut it, laid it on here and welded it together. And luckily I didn't weld multiple links together. Seems like the chain keeps stretching probably from all the rust getting broken up and falling out. That's, that's a lot of slack there. But uh, at least it's easy since it's got these screws on each side. See, I bent the foot peg because I spilled this damn thing multiple times. Luckily the brake shoes and drums were fine. Just had to add levers. Put a slot in the pins that were sticking out. Cobbled together this bullshit and that bolt just threw the pin and just clamped on there. Real basic and shitty but it works fine. Bike brake, there's a slot in this lever just in there. And they just move together. Just old school drum brakes. The shocks don't even have oil in them. It's been fine, so I haven't bothered. It's quite a hassle to get this top piece off to put oil in it and compress the spring back down and get it on there, especially with the handlebars being in the way. But uh, it's fine, so I don't care. Finally went and painted it recently with some random ass brown paint I had laying around. But yeah, the engine's basically just stock, except... Alright, that's on this side. There's a screw. That screw right there. Counterclockwise, one or two turns makes a world of difference. And last I checked, it gets about 60 miles to the gallon. And tops out at 30 miles an hour. I think I said that already. But, uh, 